What's up, y'all? Bringing you guys the install video of the electric fans and the radiator kind of in one. So right here, I'm using 90 degree angle brackets that I kind of just hacked down to fit side to side on the radiator. I'm just making sure right now that everything's lining up and I'm hopefully going to use two holes on the tops of the fans to mount to the top 90 degree bracket and then the bottom two holes would be for the bottom 90 degree bracket. So yeah, I cut this one a little too long. Let's see if we can just take off just a touch more and it should be perfect. So right here I am marking the holes to where I can drill on the side tabs of the radiator. And this is what's actually gonna hold my 90 degree bracket together. And these are, I believe, half inch quarter 20 uh, Phillip head kind of bolts. They have a nice kind of thickness to them for what they are, quarter 20s. Um, and then I just have a bunch of them, obviously, from a, a previous packet that I bought. Like, it was like a hundred of them. I got nylon lock nuts as well, which I'll be using a lot of. And now I'm just drilling through the radiator. I always go kind of crazy with the drill to make sure I uh, can easily slide the bolt through. Too many occasions where I spend all this time drilling through and making this nice little mount or whatever and then the bolt is just too big. I could have just opened up the hole a little more. So it's just a little tip. Always kind of just wiggle the drill around. So right here, I am just mounting the fan to the bracket itself first. That way I can actually kind of maneuver things around a little bit easier than trying to do all this and fiddle around with those four bolts mounted to the radiator. And then try to mount the fans to the bracket. So. And I believe a 12 mil fits. I think that's what I used. Um, but I'm sure this was probably a standard bolt application anyways, obviously a quarter 20. Um, but my natural reaction is just to go straight for the metric anyways. It's probably just a, a Nissan thing that I have mentality wise. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just lightly torquing these down. It's snug, let's just say that. I don't think this will vibrate loose. Even though I know these are gonna pull a hell of a lot of air. So right now I'm also just paying attention to uh, having a little gap on the bottom of the fans before it touches that lip that comes up on the 90 degree bracket just to kind of eliminate another vibration point for the fans. And uh, as you can see, the holes line up nice. Just simply threading that nylon lock nut on there. I'm pretty happy with uh, this kind of bracket that I've put together. It was some old 90 degree aluminum angle that I had laying around and uh, pulled it out of the corner and then I kind of just started laying it on the radiator and I was like this might actually work let's check it out I 
if you want to use like traditional hex bolts, that's perfectly fine. For me, I just had like a shit ton of the Phillips head bolts laying around, so I was like, I might as well just use them for something like this. Um, you know, I, I feel like the strength is the same. Some people are like, oh, why'd you, why'd you use Phillip head? Why don't you just use a socket head? It doesn't really matter, you know, this should be fine. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but I left a little gap actually from the top of those uh, fans to that 90 degree bracket again. Another vibration point I'm trying to eliminate. And then also in the middle of the two fans, I left a slight gap as well. So right here, my dad's just kind of giving me a hand, uh, checking out what I've done. The fans that are bolted down to the bracket are obviously protruding on the backside, maybe, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, and I don't want that rubbing against the radiator. So I kind of came up with this idea of a spacer using a nylon lock nut, and then driving the inch and a half long quarter 20 that I went to Home Depot for. As you can see, I'm putting another nylon lock nut on the backside to make sure it doesn't vibrate loose. And uh, it's kind of the finished product pretty happy but uh, ultimate test here let's see if it drops in it's a little tight but you know you just got to move a few things around and so I'm underneath the car here kind of getting an idea of where I want to mount the bottom part I uh, drilling through these steel support this is a uh, metal kind of square tubing that I found also in the garage those black lines simulate the, uh, the mounts that I was just drilling in a certain angle and I'm using a big ass bolt to slide through there so I'm not sure if you could tell this is the underside of the car the bolt through there I put blue thread locker and then tightened it down and this is how the radiator sits. I'm pretty sure the hood will close properly. No dents. So tonight, tomorrow, I'll probably be wiring up the rest. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to help you out. And uh, hit thumbs up. Give me a little subscribe option as well. If y'all would appreciate that. Thank you.